welcome to deep course and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1061 that says lexicographically smallest equivalent string so here you are given two string of same length s1 s2 and one another string base str or base string uh, so we can say s1 and s2 are equivalent characters the definition of equivalent characters is uh, the character of s1 are equal to character of s2 based on the index so the index 0 character that is a is equal to index 0 character that is c so based on the index we define that the characters are equal so as you can see here further we define three properties of equivalency relation that is reflexivity symmetry and transitivity uh, so these three are the basic property uh, and further you are given at uh, the equivalence information from s1 and s2 uh, an equivalent string of base str uh, uh, and you need to find lexicographically smallest equivalent string of base str so with the help of s1 and s2 you need to find relation between the characters and for each character of base str you need to replace uh, the smallest equivalent character to form the smallest lexicographical equivalent string of base str so let us take a look of this example to get better idea uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, for a is equal, equal equals to c these two now uh, b is equal to d let me write that and c equals to e so since uh, here it forms transitivity relation so we can write that a equals to c equals to e and another e relation would be b equals to d now uh, our base str is e18 from this base str we have to form an answer answer string so first character is e so e uh, this a and c are equivalent character to e and we need to find lexicographically smallest string so we will select the smallest character from this relation so we replace e with a because they both are the same characters then again uh, e with a and d with this b because b is equal to d and b is smaller than d so this is the smallest lexicographically string that is equivalent to base str and this is how we need to form this string so guys i hope uh, you understood uh, the question well so a b as we uh, discuss here this is the answer for this given example okay now let us take a look at a few more examples to get better understanding so uh, here uh, we are given s1 s2 so first they found the relation or the equivalence information based on s1 and s2 and group the characters this p and m are equivalent then a and o are equivalent then r is equivalent to this and also k is equivalent to r so r k uh, is combined and further as you can see here this uh, that is one another r that that shows r is equivalent to s so it is so this all the three characters are combined further e and i is combined so this is how we made the grouping now for each character uh, of place str let's say starting from p we can replace p with m because m is m is smaller uh, than p uh, then a with will remain same as a then r will replace by the smallest lexical graphically character that is k so this is how we form this string uh, if you see this uh, second example hello world so the all the first all the characters are first group based on this equivalence relation and for the base str each uh, we travel through each character and find smaller equivalent character so for h it is only the h o for o we can say that d is smaller equivalent character this is that is how hdld is formed uh, so basically what we are doing here is uh, we are making a relation or uh, yes we are making the equivalent relation between the characters so what intuition you have to make let, uh, let us now discuss a bit further so uh, three things I mean some things we have note till now is we need to group characters we need to find uh, uh, minimum or smallest character from each group okay so uh, as we can see here we first group the character and for each character we need we have to return minimum or the smallest character from the group so these two things you have not till now so guys uh, there is only one such data structure that has to do this and if you know that uh, that is dsu that is the joint set union so whenever there is something like we need to make grouping or we need to combine two elements uh, and set an equivalence relation 
So in that case, the only data structure that is best suited is data dis disjoint set union. So in, in disjoint set union, what we do is we first make union. There are two uh, important functions in uh, uh, DSU that is one is make union and another is find parent. So to understand uh, this uh, further code and approach to this question, you need to first go through DSU. So if you have a basic understanding of DSU, then it is easier to solve this. So here what we would do is uh, uh, make union and find parent. So let us discuss both this function according to this example. So uh, here let us group P and A are same in one group. A and O in the second group. K, R and S in the third group and uh, what is remaining e and i e and i in the fourth group we would combine m and p okay so this is the edge between them o and a but one thing to note here is instead of combining o and a what we would do we would combine a and o so what we did is we made the smaller character between two characters as parent okay so here also we will combine k r with and k and s and here e and i so what we did is we made the character with a smaller uh, or the it is which is the smaller lexical graphically we made it as a parent got it the, here a is a parent and here m is a parent uh, so this is how we made relation and for each uh, for each uh, character of the base string we would uh, let's say for p we would find the parent of p that is m for e the parent is a itself for r the parent is k Again, S parent is K, E parent is E, and R parent is K. M A K K E K. So if we take a look here, it is M A K K E K. So uh, this is how what we would do for each character of base string. We would take its parent, we would find its parent which using this function, and make our answer string. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, got the approach that uh, we will make the lexicographically smallest character as our parent and we simply return for uh, find parent answer for each character got it now uh, you might be thinking that how we can do this so uh, as you know that in DSU we have something known as rank so we give uh, the in uh, so from 0 to 26 for A we would give rank as 0, for B give, we would give rank as 1, C we would give rank as 2, so that is how for Z we would give rank as 25. So the lower, uh, the smaller the lexical graphical, the smaller its rank we would give and we would compare based on the rank. Means if let's say one character has lower rank, uh, let's say character x1 has lower rank than x2, then what we would do, we would make do parent of x2 equals to x1. This is this thing, if uh, P m has less m is lesser than p lexicographically wise then what we do we would make parent of p as m and uh, if we want to find parent of m we would get parent of p we would get m itself so this is how we can find a uh, lexicographically small stream so guys i hope you understood the intuition as well as approach behind this problem and how this dsu will work here so now let's move on to the coding part uh, where we will discuss and learn in detail so as you can see here the, we have taken the data structure dsu as it is uh, the only change we have to make here is if a rank of p1 is greater than rank of p2 uh, so instead we would do like this if a rank of p1 is less than p2 means uh, mp1 is lexically smaller than p2 then what we would do we would make uh, parent of p2 as p1 so uh, i hope you got this because let's say there are two characters p and m so we make uh, m as a parent of p because m is lexical graphically smaller to p so this is the thing we did here and the else condition would remain the same okay now we will start by making a da object of dsu and we will pass 26 size as uh, there are 26 characters in the alphabet now that we would traverse for all the characters of s1 and s2 and we would simply make equivalence relation between them both the length are same as uh, given in the question we would simply do dsu dot make union character of s1 and character of s2 uh, so you might be if you might be wondering why i did minus of a so that i can uh, turn down or uh, the value of a to 0 then b to 1 this is because here we are not using any characters we are using integer 
and I am just mapping the characters um, A to Z characters to 1 to 20, 0 to 25 integers. So that's a simple thing. Now let us take one answer variable and traverse the base string. Uh, so here let me take one character variable and we would simply find parent of the character uh, i also i would add character a because to convert this will return one integer and to convert it into character i am simply adding the character name and now we would simply add that character to our answer variable and simply return answer uh, so now let us try to run our code okay so it passed all the test cases let us try to submit this uh, so guys our code got accepted i hope you understood the logic uh, what we are doing here is uh, so we are simply making the union and uh, then finding the parent uh, and the rank is defined by uh, the character itself so if a, if a character is c then uh, we define rank by uh, 2 means a 0 1 2 so for c it's 2 this is how we define rank and we and we chose uh, the smaller character to be care to be parent of larger character so that whenever we want to find a uh, parent of any character we get the lexicographically smallest character here uh, so i hope you guys understood the logic as well as approach here now talking talk, now talking about the time complexity uh, that as you can see here we are traversing the string of size n uh, let's say the size of s1 and s2 is n and uh, this dsu is of fixed s that is 26 so at one point what you can do is you can consider this as a big of one because the size is very small so overall you can take the size as a big o of n so let me tell you so what you can so let's say size of uh, uh, s1 comma s2 they both are the same is equal to n size of base str is m so uh, overall what you can do is you can take a uh, you can consider big o of size of n plus m if you, you because uh, dsu is only of size 26 now if you also also want to get uh, means very finite uh, time complexity then it would be 26 into n plus m because here we are storing 26 characters and we are finding its parent and making its union so this is one thing 26 into but general case you can consider this as a time complexity and for the space complexity part we are making an array of size 26 so it is uh, big o of 26 and any other thing no which no means we are not showing any other thing apart from this so this is the space complexity so guys that's all for this video i hope you guys understood the question as well as the approach uh, do give it a like if you understood everything and if you still have any doubts then let me know in the comment section make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you